With 10, there is sadness in one Oakland neighborhood tonight after a thief smashed into a gallery and made off with a piece of art. All of this happening just days before that gallery was set to show off the collection at an opening. KTVU Zach Sauce live now in Oakland with more on what happened. Zach. I spoke with the artist earlier who is in disbelief that someone could do this. The thief made a beeline for his artwork before taking off and the whole thing was caught on camera. I learned at 11 o'clock last night that the gallery had been broken into. Surveillance video rolling as artist Raymond L. Haywood says a nearly nine inch rock was hurled through the front window of this Oakland Art Gallery Tuesday evening. The large stone narrowly missing Haywood's most prized artwork in the collection. I spent over a year on this piece, so to have that damage would have been. I don't know, it makes me a little emotional. But Haywood's work's not left untouched. Nearly an hour passes on the surveillance video before a woman is seen walking into the Mercury 20 gallery on 25th Street. It's unclear if she's the same person responsible for smashing the front window, but that woman's seen heading directly for a signed digital print of Hayward's artwork worth over $500. It was just like a gut punch when I I just put these pieces up on Monday and I was excited to share them and now one's gone. The gallery scheduled to share his works at an opening on Saturday. This week was supposed to be spent tying up loose ends. Instead, Haywood, a high school carpentry teacher by day, spending his time cleaning up and spackling the wall. This is all new work from 2019-2020. Super personal. I almost stopped doing art when COVID hit because I was just super depressed. I was working as a carpenter and then got laid off. and. Didn't know what I would do for money and just went to my studio and started cranking on these big paintings. Haywood both saddened by the loss of his art and what he says seems like a spike in crime in the area, concerned about the safety of his fellow art collective members. This street, um, these streets here are um, changed, the culture changes in the evening. People have been accosted, um, things have gotten broken into. The emotional damage is how do we feel safe here? How do we show our work and think it won't be taken? And Haywood is hoping that insurance will help pay for the damage to the art gallery. As for that stolen artwork, if you know of its whereabouts or the person in that surveillance video, you're urged to call Oakland police. For now, we're live in Oakland. Zach Sauce, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Zach, thank you.